This knowledge clip explains how to set up the results section of your paper. Following the methods section, you then present the results section. The results section is where you report the findings of your study based on your data analysis. You present your results in text and you can use tables and figures to support your text. Be aware that the results section can often be rather short, just a couple of paragraphs. In this section, please stick to the results and do not start interpreting them. The interpretation of your results comes in the next section of your paper, which is the discussion and conclusion section. The way you present your results depends entirely on the statistical tests you used. To illustrate what a results section may look like, we will now present two examples. Example 1 shows how to present the results of a t-test. Example 2 shows how to present the results of a regression analysis. Example 1 includes a study that compares employees with a higher workload and employees with a lower workload regarding their job stress. The hypothesis we want to test is, employees who experience a higher workload experience more job stress than employees with a lower workload. In our sample study, 10 employees have filled in a questionnaire on workload and job stress. A t-test was used to analyse the data. This is how you present the results of the t-test. As you can see, this information is presented in a very concise way. Our result of interest is the t-score, which is 0.27. Additionally, we provide details on how we use the t-score to evaluate our hypothesis. In our sample, we compared our t-score to the critical t-value for a one-tailed test with a significance of 0.05 and 8 degrees of freedom. As you can see in the table, this critical t-value is 1.86. Since our t-score is lower than the critical t-value, our hypothesis cannot be confirmed. Please note that in our results, the non-Greek letters are in italic, two decimal places are used, and that there is a space before and after the equal sign. The degrees of freedom, shown as df in the table, is calculated by the number of participants, which in our case is 10, minus 2 participants. Example 2 includes a study on the relationship between self-efficacy and task performance. A regression analysis was used to test this relationship. This is how you report the results. Our result of interest here is the B coefficient, which is 0.09, as well as our p-value, which is 0.04. B is the unstandardized regression coefficient. P refers to the level of significance of our findings. Please note that you have to report the exact p-value up to three decimals. For example, p equals 0 0.006 or p equals 0 0.03, unless p is smaller than 0 0.001. In that case, you write p is less than 0 0.001. Now your results section is ready and you can move on to the discussion and conclusion section of your paper.